What you can't do, you can't stop. But you also know what you can't do? You can't run. Come on. Come on. Because if you run, you can't, you're going to miss some stuff that God wants you to see. What are you going through right now that in it, there's some lessons? In the mess, there's some ministry. In the, in the, in the, in the dung, there's some deliverance. Y'all ain't pray with me? In the limit and the less, there's some lessons. You can't stop, but you also can't rush. So he says, yea, though I walk. I, 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 listen, listen, here it is. Saul wanted David to rush. Yeah. That's why Saul said, wear my armor. Come on. Come on. You can't move wearing somebody else's armor. You, you can't walk with somebody else's armor. As much as I love Bishop Stacy, I cannot be Bishop Stacy to save my life. Because life makes us like jigsaw puzzles. Young people, you hear me. Don't imitate. Originate. I said don't imitate, originate. You may study them to learn from them, but you got to find your own voice. You got to find your own value. You got to find your own ministry because God made you like no other. Give God some amount of praise. He never made one miracle the same way. He never made one leader the same way. He made David for his time and he made Solomon for his time. But then he made Micah for his time and Jeremiah for his time. He made Paul for his time and Peter for his time. He made Bishop Bronson for her time and you and I for our time. Give God Somebody, you can't imitate, you've got to originate. And, and, and see, the reason why I know David had was gracefully broken was because he was not arrogant. Young people, listen to me. I am not giving you permission to disrespect the traditions of the elders because you got to honor. And one of the things about our young people, you, you've forgotten how to honor. Nobody taught you how to honor, nobody taught you how to respect. So you miss your blessings because God always blesses us through people. God always blesses man through man. God always blesses woman through man, woman through man, man through woman. God uses human beings to bless human beings. Don't miss your blessing because you're looking at somebody and you say, because that's a woman or because that's a man, I am not going to give you. God, people honor. That's why I said, whoever receives a prophet in the name of a prophet. So he walked around in it. I'm almost through. He walked around. He said, but I've not proved these. Who is God calling tonight? How, what has God? Here it is. Somebody in here, you're, 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 you're wrestling with a demon called I'm too old. I'm a woman. I've been through COVID. I've been through heartache. I've been through cancer. I've been through diabetes. And I, 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 I've been through two or three marriages and my children are messed up. And, 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 and I've come here to tell you that is a lie. I'm here to tell you that that is a lie from the deepest pit of hell. I've come by to tell you you need to get in the Bible and understand how Abraham was used in the latter part of his life. Noah was used in the latter part of his life. Amen. Anna and Simeon were used in the latter part of their life. That Moses was used. That what God was doing with your life was he was trying to get you to make your mistakes early so you could use the mistakes and use them for ministry. Give God some mighty praise. That's what he said that all things work together for good for those that love the Lord. Is there somebody under the sound of my voice? You may be on AARP, you may be in retirement, but tell somebody I'm retired but not tired because the best is still to come. Give God some mighty praise. Now you got more wisdom. Now you got more anointing. Now you got more forgiveness. Now you got more patience. Now you got more hope. Now you got more grace. Now you got more mercy. You got more than you ever had. And God said, I've been saving you for this door right here. Give God some mighty praise. And, 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 and the sad thing the sad thing about this is that the world gets a hold of this 
That's why we allow people who are retired to take over the country and run for office. Why is it that the world has energy to run from the, for the White House, but Christians don't have the energy to run for the Lord's house? No! The last time I checked, Matthew 10, he said, he, he drew them to him, the 12 disciples. He gave them power that they may be able to heal, cast out demons. He said, freely you have received, freely give. Is there somebody here who's willing to cast out a demon? Give God some might of praise. Cast it down. Racism, cast it down. Sexism, cast it down. Tear it down, tear it down. Tear it down, tear it down. Tear it down, tear it down, tear it down. Tear it down. I'm just through here now. This is where I wanted to get to. So now he got to go before Goliath. He can't use a sword. What does he use? He uses what he knows. And he uses what knows him. I can't do what my brother can do on this keyboard. But that's his gift. You, you got to use your slingshot. Anybody here got a slingshot? You may not have a degree, but you got a slingshot. You may not have a Cadillac, but you got a slingshot. You may not live in the suburbs, but you got a slingshot. All I need is a rag and a rock. I close with this. When he came after Goliath with the slingshot, Goliath went down. But the text doesn't say the slingshot killed him. Yay! Though I walk. In other words, I need to be in the flow and frequency of God. That when, when God is moving at one speed and I'm not moving at that speed, I'm not moving right. But if I walk, oh, the, the, the power is not in what I say. The power is when I walk. The power is not what I have. The power is when I, who I am inside. For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Yay. Though I walk, thy rod and thy staff, because the rod is used for the enemy. Watch this. See the text. I'm going to close with this. Help me all. When he got Goliath on the ground, he went up to Goliath. Watch this. You got to get up to that thing that is trying to destroy you. And you got to make sure that that thing never gets up again. Yes. Amen. Amen. So he never used the slingshot. He went to the Goliath and got Goliath's own sword and cut off the head of Goliath. Sometimes the weapon that the enemy was going to use to destroy you God will set it up whereby you will take that weapon and you'll use it to destroy your enemy. Give God some mighty praise. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but are mighty through God for the tearing down of strongholds. How do I know? Because I believe there was a savior who saved my soul. He was a shepherd that ruled before David's shepherd. Can I talk about him for a minute? He came down through 40 and two generations. He said, I want to go down and save Takumbo. I want to go down and save Bishop Bronson. I want to go down and save Bishop Roberts. I want to go down and save this assembly. But the four and twenty elders say, no, don't go. If you go, they'll kill you. Out stepped Elisha. Elisha said, if you go, they'll slap you. But he said, no, I'm going. So he climbed over 40 and two generations. But how many of you know that somebody else wanted to go? Moses wanted to go. But Moses had the blood of an Egyptian on his hands. David wanted to go. Uh, but David slept with Bathsheba. Samson wanted to go. But he was too busy shacking up, amen, with Delilah. Jeremiah wanted to go, but Jeremiah cried too much. Solomon wanted to go, but he built his house bigger than he built the Lord's house. 
Is there anybody here that knows what I'm talking about? Ezekiel wanted to go. But it looked like Ezekiel was looking at LSD or something. Because he said he see a wheel in the middle of a wheel. Isaiah wanted to go. But Isaiah was eating the king's meat. So he said, I'll do it myself. I'll be born in a manger. I'll flee to Egypt. I'll come back. I'll argue with the Pharisees. I'll come back. I'll raise Lazarus from the dead. I'll be hunted by the scribes. I'll be hated by the Pharisees. They'll stick me up. They'll put me up on false charges. They'll arrest me. They'll put me on a cross. I won't say a mumbling word. I hung my head and died. I hung my head until the moon drips away in blood. I hung my head until the sun tells the moon, move over and let me sit on your throne for a little while. I'll die. I'll die until the moon and the stars rock and reel like a drunken man. They'll take my body and they'll put it into the, a tomb and they'll put the tomb in the earth. But early, but early, but early Sunday morning, a rock turned a rock in a rock and then a rock moved a rock from a rock and then a rock stood on top of a rock and that's why the songwriter said rock of ages cleft for me let me hide myself in thee and then he got up out of the rock and he said all oh, power all oh, power all oh, power is in my hands can somebody say yeah can somebody say yeah can somebody say yeah give God somebody praise do you know who he is? Can you call his name? Jesus, Ezekiel's will, Jeremiah's fire, Abraham's peace, Deborah's stroke. He is my God. Peter's name changer and life rearranger. My grandmama's walking stick, my granddaddy's leaning post. He is Jesus, my all in all. Can somebody say yeah? Can somebody say yeah? Can somebody say oh? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Because he lives, I can live. Because he lives, I can dance. Because he lives, I can shout. Give God some mighty praise. On Christ, solid rock I stand. All of the crowd. Beloved, I, I just want to make a call right quick, Bishop. I'll let you come. Is there anybody here you have been ashamed of your brokenness? Let me do it another way. You know somebody that's been ashamed of their brokenness. And, and, and I'm here to tell you that's what God blesses you through. I, I just need you to come down right now. Even in your church, if there's somebody you want to pray for, I need you to come down. I, I need you to help me break the stronghold of pride. Won't you come for prayer? Somebody is broken. Maybe it was abuse from dad. Abuse from mom. Maybe you, somebody abandoned you. Maybe you were ignored. Maybe it was spousal abuse. But, 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 but here's the thing. I want you to come, not for yourself, I want you to come for somebody who needs prayer. Because th there is nothing like the power of intercession. And what is intercession? Intercession says, before you attack my brother, my sister, you got to come through me. I, I need you to come because the Bible says, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much.